Police are continuing their investigation of an accident that occurred Sunday night. 26-year-old Brandon resident Jeff Stadnick was transferred to the Health Sciences Center in Winnipeg after driving his truck into a trench on the 3000 block of Victoria Avenue East. Over $1,000 damage was done to the truck when it entered the trench after Stadnick apparently ignored the barricades. Small municipalities will be hit harder in the near future financially. This announcement came at the annual convention of the Union of Manitoba Municipalities. And we'll be back with a complete weather right after this. Hey, listen, Operation Sellout is underway. We're trying to sell every available ticket left for the Scott Tournament of Arts. Set for February 27th to March 6th, 1993. Weekly passes, good for every draw, are now available at your local curling club or the Keystone box office. Get your tickets for the Scott Tournament of Hearts now. Hurry, they won't last long. Cloudy skies tonight. The weather advisory has ended. We'll see lows of minus 5 to minus 7, mainly cloudy tomorrow. And a high of minus 3. Tuesday night's low, minus 10. Bit of sunshine, believe it or not, on Wednesday. And a high of minus 3. Our next news update at 11 p.m. See you then. Pulse News Update. While the environment was a big topic at the annual convention of the Union of Manitoba Municipalities, New environmental regulations will force municipalities to build newer and more environmental waste disposal sites, and that has some cash-strapped communities concerned. Delegates to the convention will be discussing new ways to cover the cost of building new dumps. One of Manitoba's top judges has criticized the Justice Minister, Jim McRae, for potentially undermining public confidence in the justice system by openly questioning a judge's decision. Associate Chief Judge Jeffrey Oliphant says McRae's comments about a decision made last summer detracts from the respect that is necessary for the operation of the justice system. McRae believes that although his point was critical, it was crucial. For the latest in tractor technology, visit these editors. Uh, that he makes, I, I will be reading all 26 pages of his judgment very carefully and uh, taking whatever uh, advice I think is appropriate from it. I don't want to undermine confidence in the justice system. That's uh, not anything I ever intended to do. Uh, uh, the justice system needs to be accountable. Just, I guess judges need to be accountable just like uh, politicians do in, in that sense. And no one is above criticism. But if criticism is going to be leveled, I will acknowledge that it needs to be done fairly. And in one specific case, I went beyond that, and I've acknowledged that. Back with the weather right after this. Latest in tractor technology, visit these Zetter dealers. H&L Motors in Glenborough and Oak River Equipment, Oak River. Zetter has the horsepower range for you. From the 62 to the 162 series, the 77 series tractor offers regular or turbo engine performance. And don't miss the all-new 95 series tractors, including the Zetter 9520 and 9540. For low-cost tractor operation economy, see these Zetter dealers. In Glenborough, H&L Motors. And in Oak River, see Oak River Equipment. The weather advisory has ended for western Manitoba. We'll see cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of light snow, light winds, lows of minus 5 to minus 7. For tomorrow, cloudy with scattered flurries, light southeasterlies, high of minus 3, and some sun on Wednesday and a high of minus 3. Our next news update at midnight tonight. Stay tuned. <laughs>